Ukraine is still fighting for Bakhmut, but that fight is looking ever more desperate. Commanders here say Russia is now sending its most prepared troops to the front, having sacrificed conscripts for months, and that increasing the capabilities of their own frontline defenses has become, quote, problematic. The head of Russia's Wagner mercenary group has warned them to get out while they still have one road left to use. They are trying to beg the Ukrainian army to leave Bakhmut so he would stop defending the city. They hope to get the city without big losses, but they've lost so many people. The catastrophe for the Wagner group and the Russian army is inevitable. Wagner's founder says he's with his troops near Bakhmut, and he had his own grim message for his Ukrainian opponents. We are sending another shipment of Ukrainian army fighters home. They fought bravely and perished. That's why this latest truck will take them back to their motherland. Prigozhin has publicly criticized Russia's defense minister, Sergei Shoigu, for the many failures of the military campaign so far. Perhaps no coincidence then, with the capture of Bakhmut seemingly in sight, he too should be in eastern Ukraine. In western Lviv, Ukraine's president was meeting the president of the European Parliament. Roberta Metsola called for speedy talks on Ukraine's EU membership, investigations into and accountability for alleged Russian war crimes, and further military support. Ukraine needs the weapons to defend itself. We have already given 3.1 billion euros through the European Peace Facility uh, to Ukraine, but it is clear that more is needed. If we want to have a safe Europe, we need to have a safe Ukraine. There's no safety to be found in Bakhmut. A town of more than 70,000 people has been reduced to this. About 3,000 are estimated to remain. Among them, Hanadi and Natalia, scavenging for what they can to survive. There are problems with food, Natalia says. Humanitarian aid is given to us only once a month. There's no electricity, no water, no gas. We burn wood, says Hanadi. At least it's warmer. If Russia does soon prevail in Bakhmut, after six months of attrition, there's little left to claim as a prize. Natalia says she can only pray that whoever does remain here will survive. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera.